Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, I am back with a new tutorial. I wanted to do something a bit more neutral with like the browns and stuff because I feel like my looks are going like really colorful and I wanna bring it back just because I know that people like to wear things more wearable. So I wanted to do something that's really simple, really glam and perfect for like, if you're like a beginner and wanting to do something just a little bit different for like a night out or something, and this is perfect. I think it's quite simple and understated, but like requires, you know, a little bit of extra. So yeah, um, if you'd like to know how I did this look, then please keep on watching. And if you do enjoy the video, please let me know down below what you thought about it. Give the video a like and please do subscribe I appreciate it very much and yeah it just means you don't miss any more videos um, and yeah without further ado let's get into the video okay so I've already done my eyebrows and set my lids and I'm gonna go into the Morphe 3502 palette Ooh. and I'm gonna take this shade here which is called which is called stone and I'm just gonna use this to pack it through the crease and onto the lid as well. And then I'm gonna go into the shade Orb, which is this one, and a bit of tan as well. And I'm gonna use these two to blend out that brown shade. I'm then going to take the shade So Warm, which is this one, just to warm up the look a little bit because it's all looking a little bit cool toned at the minute. And then I'm going to take the shade Brunette just to deepen it up a little bit. And I'm also just going to like wing it out into like a winged out shape. Taking it below the lower lash line as well so we've got like um, some sort of guideline of where we're going to go next. I'm then gonna go into the NYX eyeshadow base in the shade white and just use this to begin with just to sketch out like the guideline of where we're gonna cut the crease. Then I'm gonna go in with something else just to whiten it a little bit. So I want where we cut that crease to be a little bit more like white and less like beige like it is right now. So I'm going to go into the Olivia Bell gel eyeliner in white and I'm going to use this to make it just like a little bit more pigmented I guess. I'm only going to take a little bit because this can get a little bit cakey if you use too much of it. So I am just taking like the tiniest bit just to use it as like a colour enhancer. <laughs> And then to set that down, I'm gonna go into the Tarte Tartius Pro palette and I'm gonna take the white from this. 
and I'm going to take the white from this palette, it's called Vintage, and I'm going to use that to set this down just because it is quite a pigmented white and I do want the inner corner to be quite white. And then I'm going to go back into that stone shade and just blend out that inner cor outer corner into the cut crease, if you know what I mean. I'm then going to take the darker two shades in the palette, so this dark brown here and just a tiny bit of the black as well and just create like an eyeshadow liner I guess because I want it to be nice and smoky, I don't want like a strong liquid eyeliner if that makes sense. <laughs> And then I'm going to go back into that stone shade and the so warm shade and I'm just going to run these on the low lash line. And then I'm going to go back into the dark two shades and just darken up really close to the waterline. And then I'm going to take the Morphe gel eyeliner in this shade Slate and I'm just going to run this along the waterline. And then I'm going to take the Olivia Bell lashes in the style Sassy. I'm just going to glue these onto my lids. Okay, so that is the eyes done. I'm gonna go do the rest of my face off camera and then I will be back to show you the finished look. So this is the finished look, I really really hope you guys enjoyed, if you did enjoy please let me know down below what you thought and please give the video a like as well, um, if you don't want to miss any videos please do subscribe, I appreciate it very much and you know you get to see more of my wonderful face. Um, so yeah thank you once again for watching, I will see you all very soon, thanks so much, bye!